Tips and Designs. I want to thank you for coming into uh, the poly shed. We have to have a light on, a couple LEDs there over the staining area, which is this area at the moment. I wanted to uh, show you that we have lots of videos on SE Custom Designs on YouTube. We have around 300 uh, plus now. And uh, so there you go. Um, here's our channel. So we're continuing the series on the nested trays, but lo and behold, look, they're done. Woohoo! Well, they're not done, done. But we have finished all of the sanding and the scraping and all of that, that hard work that you put into a project. And what we're going to do now is go ahead and put on this Feed and Wax wood polish and conditioner. It's a beeswax and orange oil. I am not a salesman for any of these products. That's my disclaimer. Um, we are SNC Custom Designs. Hey, if you like our channel, please do subscribe to our channel um, and uh, hit the bell. I don't know if the this is a nook here that I'm using at the moment. Uh, you can't really see a bell that I can see it, but if you hit the bell once you do subscribe, um, you're going to be able you're going to get re, uh, notifications that a new video came up. So we continue the series uh, on the nested trays. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just open this bad boy up and give it what what it wants. I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't taste as good as it smells. <laughs> so I like to put this uh, this finish on with my hand. First of all, it's not toxic. Okay, I wouldn't recommend it having it for breakfast, um, <laughs> but um, it, it's not toxic, so. Uh, it, it, it's just a pleasure to be able to put on products like this that you can put on with your hands and there's no damage coming to your hands. So that's what we're doing. We're going to go ahead and put our, our first coat on. And as you can see, I like to give, give it plenty, man. This has been uh, thirsty for quite some time. It's been... Uh, It needs a it needs some some a break. I just reminded myself to take my ring off, so I don't scratch uh, the product. Last time I took my ring off, I forgot where I put it, <laughs> so I was unmarried for a, a couple of weeks. So I'm glad to say that I've been married for uh, for 31 years to a lovely lady, and she's the other part of SC Custom Designs. Um, she does amazing things with cloth. So I'm going to let that guy set up and go on to the next one. I'm just going to let it uh, soak up the, uh, the product. And what I'll do is when I get near the end, I'll take one of these guys, soak up what's left, and then put it into uh, the other units. So we won't waste any product. But isn't this beautiful, my friends? It's probably hard to tell at the moment. Uh, I don't have all, a lot of the sun that, that I usually get here in the poly shed. It's overcast today. It's it's March, uh, sorry, January, February, March, April 5th. And we still have snow. Last time I checked, it's April showers that bring me flowers. In this case, it's we're not giving you spring or summer. I hope that I am wrong. I hope you actually get this warm weather. So here we are. We're in the poly shed of uh, SE Custom Designs. And we're putting the uh, first coat of this feed and wax uh, wood polish um, as the actual finish uh, for the product. Okay. And you may want be wondering why, Steve, are these three different colors, your, ne your nested trays? There's seven of them. So they start off uh, dark like this, and it's going to end uh, dark. The, 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 the very, very uh, last one, the small one there. 
So here we go. Let's just get this stuff on here. Um, and uh, this will be episode, who knows, three or four, five. I'm really, I'm losing track. But uh, we're near the end. Um, you know how it is as woodworkers. You, you get finished with a, pro a project or near the finish line. Honestly, yesterday I went down to the wood shop and I went, No, what? I had sad face on. Now what am I going to do? There's plenty to do. The customers are keeping me busy. Um, but there you go. I want to start announcing early on in, uh, in the year that we're going to have uh, an episode. Sorry, an episode. No, we're not having an episode there. But we're going to be... Uh, we're going to have a venue at the Maybe House, the Maybe Farm, in Rotterdam Junction, New York. So if you're up in the New York area, upstate New York, we're like in the middle-ish uh, right-hand side of the, of the state. So the east side, New York State, in the middle, Albany area. Uh, we're going to be doing a show at the Maybe House. Uh, look it up at the Maybe House or the Maybe Farm. Um, George Frontier, uh, rest his soul, he has he donated uh, the the Maybe House. Uh, originally, I think owned by the Van Scoiks, but about 300 years old, as old as our as our country. Um, came from over in Europe to Rotterdam Junction in New York, and uh, he traded with the Indians. Uh, he, they were very good friends with the Indians. As a matter of fact, when the, when the French, I think it was the French, burnt Schenectady, set it on fire. Um, the, the, uh, they had made a pact with the Indians so that they could escape, w w without harm. Uh, and, uh, and so that's the story. Well, we're going to be uh, doing a show out there, and that's going to be in August. I will announce this many many times beforehand um would really be, it would be really cool to meet uh some of our subscribers to se custom designs and uh, hopefully my wife will be bringing lots of things so she'll be exhibiting things so uh the maybe house uh rotterdam junction the, or the maybe farm you could look them up they are a, a, a historical site uh, since george gave the land in the house and they have put up uh i think it's a dutch barn perhaps a pole barn um which got burnt down it, not by the french uh but it, it got set on fire somehow so they they actually built a, a new one a new old one i think it was donated and they they brought it out on site and they set it up so that's the maybe house you'll see us there uh, and, uh, so that's that. I gotta fill my time with something <laughs> as I'm, as I'm finishing these. I'm putting the, uh, this Howard Feed and Wax. I'm not a salesman for the company. I just used a product. That's my disclaimer. Uh, wood polish and conditioner, beeswax with orange oil. You can smell that orange oil. It's so nice. Well, here we go, folks. So here's how they go, uh, I think. All I have to do is look for that knot that is on that side. Uh, are you? No, this way. I had it right the first time, maybe? Yes. So you just have to even follow the grain uh, on the wood. Uh, not that way. There we go. And uh, let's see here. I think that's the way it goes. I'm not sure. So there you go. Nested trays, my friends. Isn't that cool? So when these guys, I'm going to give them plenty of time to soak in this, uh, this uh, product. But these are the nested trays. We've been doing an episode, many, many episodes on the nested trays. So I'm glad to report they're in their semi-final uh, state where they're, they're going to be done. And I'm just so thrilled about that. So what I'm going to do is uh, offload them uh, where I had them before. I kind of just turn them upside down like this and I'm going to be putting the heat back on. It's still uh, cold here in 
uh, upstate New York. And so, yeah, please, if you ever, if you want to know how to make these things, just uh, ping me. Just, uh, first of all, if you're not a member um, of SC Custom Designs, if you haven't subscribed to SC Custom Designs on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and hit the bell so that you're notified of uh, episodes as they go up. But you can leave a comment. Steve, how do you make those? I'll be very glad to show you. Of course, you can look up the various... I have 300 plus videos. The last, I would say, uh, easily 10 videos are on making these things. So this is basically a piece of wood that came out of the middle of a 19-inch bandsaw box. I'm making seven of them for my wife that go under the sewing table and she could just put things in there. Well this one here, all of this came from one chunk of wood that came out of that. And you just make one after another after another after another till you get this thin. I was actually tempted to make one more but I thought I like my fingers more. <laughs> it was getting pretty close. <laughs> uh, but uh, there you go. Thanks for coming into the shop of SC Custom Designs which is now uh, here my, uh, my poly shed. Uh, what is the temperature? 61 degrees. I had help from the sun. Uh, thank God for the sun. Um, and so here we go. I, we're going to go ahead and end it. Thanks once again. God bless. Have a great day and stay safe in the shop, my friends.